Hello and welcome to 301 Jacqueline Court, Clayton, Ohio. Here I'm standing on the street walking up to the front of this home. First thing that I noticed here, big mature trees in the backyard, very nice setting, and the whole neighborhood just has a great feel to it. Notables on the outside of this home. This is a corner lot home, and this is Clayton Northmont Schools here. Brand new 30 year dimensional shingle roof here. Gutters have been painted. Looks like we have a newer garage door. And one really cool thing as we're walking up to the front here, kind of a little courtyard here. I've seen people do some really neat things in here. Make this a little patio with a sitting area, a fountain, all kinds of different possibilities you can do here. Before we go inside, I wanted to go show you the backyard. Next, I'll meet you around back. All right, so here just came to the side of the house. So this is Jacqueline here, and this is the corner lot. So you have plenty of parking here if you wanted to have a get together. And then look at the size of these trees. This thing is ginormous and it's a great setting back here. Just walking up, we do have a, a nice patio back here. All of the windows have been updated on the home, as have the mechanicals. We have a newer York air conditioner here. We have a newer furnace and a, I think a brand new water here. And the roof was 2017, so this year, at the time of shooting this video here, fantastic backyard. Perfect trees here to throw a hammock on. Absolutely perfect. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so here I just walked through the front door. We're greeted by a large entry here with Pergo flooring. Chandelier in the entry, and guys, plenty of room to put a shelf, um, to put your shoes on, whatever you want. There's plenty of room here. Mechanical room here, I am actually gonna open up this door because we have a new water heater and a newer furnace as well. That is a York furnace matching set to the air conditioner on the outside. Now from the entry, we can go to the right, which we have three bedrooms. We can go straight, which is the living room or we can go left into the kitchen. We're gonna go right. I have a coat closet slash linen closet right here. And one thing to point out, we do have updated six panel doors throughout the home as well. So this would be the owner suite here. It does have an attached bathroom and this is a big room, newer ceiling fan in here, updated windows in this room, two double bifold closet doors in here. She could have his and her closet, or if it's like my house, her, hers and hers. Walk-in shower over here, kind of a little private area for the commode. Sitting area right here with a big mirror, so it'd be a great makeup area. Plus another section over here that could make a, a nice office area or just storage area. All ceramic tile on the floor in there. Everything in the whole house has a fresh coat of paint. So walking through here, there's that closet that we saw. This is our second full bathroom right here. Looks like we have updated flooring in here. That is a shower tub. Looks like we have ceramic here as well. And then built in linen cabinet right here. If I stop and look straight up, this is our attic access. Then two of the bedrooms. This is, if you're looking at it from the street, this is the back middle bedroom. Brand new carpet in here. Updated window, fresh coat of paint. Bedroom number three. This is on the back right if you're looking at it from the street. Updated windows, new carpet. And here as well, fresh coat of paint. Updated thermostat as well. And then here's the entry where we entered. Living room being set up as a poker room right now, but I think you get the idea. Big living room. Let's see what kind of hands we got going on here. Oh, last time I checked, that's a pretty darn good hand right there. Living room opens into the dining room. And this table is available for purchase as well. And this will loop around to the kitchen. Dining room is on the back of the home, so that will overlook the backyard. And the living room there to the right. And then the kitchen, this floor plan does circle around. We have a breakfast table area right here. Good amount of cabinet space, core and countertops. All of the appliances stay cooktop, Rain shed, dishwasher, fridge, they all stay. And then the ceramic tile leads back to the pergo and the entry where we started. 
Kitchen sink overlooks the front courtyard of the house. Looks like we do have an under cabinet light. Then this will open into our family room right here. Family room has a sliding door that leads out to the back patio. Chair rail in here. Updated panel box in the corner. Now these are the slim shade windows. Uh, these aren't the same age as the rest of the house, but these are actually uh, where the blinds are built in between the panes of glass. Laundry room here, washer and dryer do say, and a large mud sink, and plenty of room here as well. One thing in the family room I wanted to point out, wood burning, freestanding fireplace, that will straight run you out of this room if you use it with the heat. And then an office. We have a nice office area. This could be a playroom, nursery, a bedroom if needed, but the door here leads us out to our two car garage and that is an updated window right there as well. So none of the windows are original, but they're all updated. And this one is not the same age. The other ones are vinyl, like double hung windows. And this is a slim shade window. And same thing with these blinds on this door, they're built inside the panes of glass, which is very, very nice. And we've already seen the backyard here. So appreciate you watching the video. Feel free to schedule an appointment or give us a call. We're happy to get you in here and would love for you to call this your next home. Thanks for watching.